Jubilee. Good morning. You want to say hi? Say good morning, everyone. This girl loves reading books. Don't you? Do you love books? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love books? Good morning, everybody. It's a brand new day. Oh, we're getting a bit of a late start. We might have stayed up last night. Julie and I got to like talking, which is dangerous because we will just talk to each other all night without realizing that it's late. And it's nice to be able to talk to each other, but then it's like, we're not gonna get any sleep. Crazy. So, we're getting up kind of late. Today, I've got to take a car to the state admissions place, get it checked so we can get new tabs. Other than that, just the regular work, you know? Just the regular work. No call from the school district, so I, apparently I'm not gonna work this week. Then we've got one more week until our Christmas. So we got this weekend, and then next weekend, we're hoping to have our Christmas. Uh, just about everything has come in. We're waiting on a handful of things left. We got presents under the tree now. Ah! I love it. Are you excited for Christmas? Are you excited for Christmas? She's like, I don't know what that is. I think she would be if she knew. Yeah, I think she would be too. She's trying to talk to you guys though. Hey Miriam, what you doing? Painting. Can I see some of your paintings? Yeah. Little snake. Cobra. Do you know this actually fell off? Oh. No, I didn't. It did. Can you glue it back on? Yeah. It awesome. actually stayed together pretty Good. well. Good. Probably because it's the way I made it. Right. But the turtle's legs are a bit different. Mm. You have a helper over there, Papa. Yeah, I do. She's your helper forever now. Forever. Is that true, little girl? All right, we're done with breakfast. Uh, I am getting ready to go run our errands, get that car in for its test, and I'm gonna leave Julie here with all the kiddos. <laughs> no. the oh, I'm joking. Has this I'm color. Um, no, but we got some laundry done Electric as well. Oh, this has kind of become our laundry yeah, spot. Blue. Whenever we have clean clothes, we just kind of dump it on the trampoline. So. We originally got it so Gabriel could jump around and expel some energy, but it has seriously become our laundry spot. So to see our trampoline without any clothes on it means we're doing good. Gabriel's over here finishing up his breakfast. Are you drinking your smoothie that way? Hey Gabriel. Are you a weird kid? Hey, Gabriel. Is that yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this kid. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say goodbye to Julie and head out. All right, on my way to the emissions testing. Woo! This is always fun. Oh no, there's no ticket. 
tickets in there. I pushed a button. And no ticket. All right, I passed! <laughs> yes! Easy, easy. So now I think Julie had some stuff she wanted me to get at the store, so I'm gonna head that way and then head back home. Easy errands, right? No big deal. I'm kind of grateful that emissions are only done every two years here in this state because it would be a pain to do this every single year. Every single year. What is this? Donald Trump. It does look kind of like his hair. It's a Donald Trump. I, I am Donald Trump. I am Let me make one. Is that looking? Orange and messed up hair, yeah. <laughs> Cause I just spin it around in the hubba, so that mm -hmm. it's perfect. Donald Trump's orange with envy. Mm-hmm. Yummy, because yummy, he yummy. Broke Lunch it. time. It Josh, who was present, came today. Because he's the narrator. Yay. Josh, you can't. <laughs> she loves books. Yeah, she does. I think she loves books with colors. And Gabriel loves books too. Wait, Baba, I got mm -hmm. an idea. What? Uh, when you're done, can you read us the book without pictures? We can find it, yeah. Just made it to the store. I've been kind of just sitting here enjoying, kind of watching the last little bits of this sunset. Oh, I can't really see. There we go. It's just really nice. I've been thinking about the vlogs as I've been sitting here just kind of enjoying the quiet and the, and the sunset and thinking about what I'm trying to accomplish with them. And I think the key thing for me is to be authentic. I know that often puts us as being really weird and awkward. We don't always show the family in, in the most uh, pleasing ways. You know, we don't, we don't really have a brand message other than who we are. The whole point of this series of videos is to document, is to capture these moments, is to remember the struggles and the emotions and the, and the challenges and the, and the joys and uh, the heartbreaks and the, uh, just everything that we go through. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I hope you guys enjoy our videos. Um, they're here because we're trying to document the family and because I love making videos and playing around with video and trying new things. I've struggled in the past with this channel especially because I had tried to make something more of this channel. I had hoped that it would be able to provide for our family when we were out on the road and try to make it more of a business and so I've kind of I've kind of scrapped all that you know this this channel is for me my photo album it is my journal it is it is where I'm keeping all these precious moments and I'm so grateful that I get to share them with you and I hope you guys enjoy them too um, But I think I think the key for me, as I'm as I'm thinking here, in this moment, is just to continue the authenticity that that is really important to me. I'm I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't be afraid of who you are, and you shouldn't feel the need to to put on a mask and hide uh, parts of you. You know, we all we all have what we consider flaws and I think I think what I'm working on this year is embracing some of those flaws and saying this is a part of me this is who I am and I'm gonna become stronger because of it and to realize that most of those flaws aren't problems they're strengths that they are they're unique things about me. They're, they're part of who makes me who I am so that I'm not like anyone else. I talk with Julie a lot about how if we want to be successful in life, 
with whatever we're doing that we need to take what is uniquely us, uniquely ours, and shine the brightest light on that part. Life is this grand experiment, and I'm trying to figure out how to not be too afraid to to try it. I just don't want to be afraid anymore of trying it. Julie keeps on texting me, and so I better get in there and finish shopping and head home. She's crazy. Crazy! Alright, done shopping. I'm tired already. <laughs> I have no stamina at all. Take a look at these clouds, guys. They're amazing. It is so cold out there. So, where are my presents? Mama said I had presents under here. I don't see them. They're in the Santa ones with candy canes on them. Santa ones. Oh, I see. Whoa. That's a fragile one. Oh, fragile. Should I shake it around? No. no. Okay. Uh, I don't have any presents. Yeah. I think this is. And that one's for me too, Joshy Pants. Papa pants. I'm done with my work today. Uh, it's been really nice having this space up here uh, to work and to get some things done without the kiddos always interrupting. Uh, I'm kind of on this like nostalgic high right now because for the video I'm currently making, I'm going through all this old footage and it's so crazy to watch when I first got my camera and I started recording myself. I was essentially vlogging because I've got all of this footage of me just talking about my emotions and my feelings and and then all the footage of Julie in it as we were dating off and on and crazy stuff. Just just crazy stuff. All my different looks that I've had through the years. It's so fun. Okay, I think I heard that dinner was ready, so I'm going downstairs and then that's probably gonna be it for tonight. What is that, Abraham? I hate tying shoes with a passion. You hate tying shoes with a passion? Yeah, Papa does too. I do, and that is why I got these. Ah! Put on my bed. See, they're just like little rubber things. The rubber? Yeah. But I don't have to ever tie this shoe again, ever. Unless you. <laughs> yeah, well, right. If these all got cut and I had to put laces back in, but. Wait, do they have so... laces right here? Huh? It's a rubber no lace. It's just, no, it's just a, like a it's it's a little rubber end that keeps it in place. Oh. Cool, huh? Yeah. Maybe. They look styling. You should have done that on my bed, though. Uh, it's okay. It's my bed. So Julie's got dinner over here. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. I tasted it already. Did you help Mama with it? Yes. You're awesome, Miriam. Thank you. This is my own creation. Yeah. It has no name. No name dinner. No name soup. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Can I make a name? Yeah, sure. Uh, Marcerisa. <laughs> has ricotta cheese in it. Yeah? Parmesan. Did you make the ricotta out of we cashews? No, we made it out of tofu. Oh. We made really, really fast ricotta out of tofu. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I like to call it Marcerisa. Marcerisa? Yeah, what do you call it that? My Parmesan, Marcerisa. my sprinkled Parmesan, I can make it in less than Mama? a Mama? Awesome. Can we call it Marcia? Gabriel, what are you doing with your sister? Marcia, Let's dig in and enjoy. You're getting a camera. I'm here too. 